Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you what I got my kids for Christmas, and I'm very excited for this video. So if you enjoy this type of content and other homeschool and lifestyle content, please remember to subscribe and let's get into it. Okay, so just a few housekeeping things at the beginning of this video. First off, I'm getting over a cold. We've all just been sick with colds over here. So sorry, I'm a little like congested, nasally, all that kind of stuff. So sorry in advance for that, but the show must go on. <laughs> Christmas is coming. And then also I have six kids ranging from ages 12 almost <laughs> to three months. And so I'm gonna be going through all of their stuff. They alternate boy, girl, boy, girl, all the way through. So I'm gonna be talking about the things that I got them for Christmas. And then also some family gifts. We always do some sort of family gifts. Usually it's games. This year I did a few things a little bit differently. And so that's what I'm gonna be showing you. And then also one of my goals for Christmas presents this year was to cut down on the clutter. I'm not like a crazy minimalist. I don't like a lot of stuff in my house. I don't like just, I don't like clutter at all. I can't stand it. Visually it drives me insane. And so I was just getting really sick of my kids having so much stuff. So a few months ago, I asked them if they could only have two presents for Christmas, what would they want? And some of these things are suggestions that they gave to me, or at least were kind of in that realm of things. You know, a lot of times they're like, I don't know, maybe this or maybe that. And so I thought about some of the things they said, and this is what I came up with. So basically they've gotten two presents. Some of the presents have a few more like items with them <laughs> than just one thing. And so I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna wrap them all as just two presents total, or if I will divide them up. You know, kids get weird about, they got more presents than me, where in reality it's like all the same. And so that was one of my goals, is just to cut down on what we got and make sure it's really focused towards their interests, what they like, stuff that's useful for us. And then also I only wanted to spend $100 on their individual gifts. And so that's what I did. The family gifts are a little bit more and then we always do like family pajamas. I do some church clothes. And then I just did one book for my older four children. I didn't get my younger two children books because we already have so many board books and the three month old doesn't even care. And neither does the two year old really. He doesn't even look at books. So anyways, so I just got the four older ones one book that they can open with our advent calendar calendar instead of two i usually do two books so i was just trying to cut down on clutter expenses and all that this year and just really focus on super meaningful gifts that we could use together and also that they just would enjoy hopefully since i asked them and they really thought about it hopefully it's stuff that they really want and enjoy so that's what i'm going to share with you today so let's get into it okay we're going to start with my almost 12 year old boy sorry sorry if you hear my toddler in the background my husband's trying to wrangle him and the baby and he knows i'm up here and so he just wants to climb up the stairs and get me so sorry if you hear him screaming that's just my life but I'm gonna start with a 12 year old boy. He'll be 12 like right after Christmas. And so I'm gonna show you the things that I got for him. He wanted Legos and stuff to draw. Like he's really gotten into drawing things. And so we got him this Lego set. He likes Ninjago. He said Ninjago or um, Minecraft. And so we don't have any Ninjago Legos. We already have so many Legos, which is why I was like, we're just getting one or two gifts that have Legos. And since he has a birthday right after too, he'll probably get Legos for his birthday. And my husband discreetly <laughs> asked the whole, all the kids, the four older kids, what their favorite character was. And so this Cole was his favorite. So this is one of his gifts is that. And then the rest of it is drawing stuff. And so I got this book. My husband tried to find the best book for his age for drawing. You know, it's kind of hard to find them or find ones that are a little bit more appropriate and things like that. So this was one that he found and it has a little bit more basic things in it. Some of them we found didn't really show how to draw. It was just, here's the image. This is what you come up with. And so we liked that this one was a little bit more steps showing how to draw. So I have that for him. And then I also got some pens 
in one of the other books we looked at, you could look at like the Kindle version with Kindle Unlimited. It gave a whole bunch of suggestions for good like art supplies. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll go through all this. So this was one of those. So these are the different, they're different sizes back here. You can see the different sizes to outline when you do art. And then I got alcohol markers, right? Not alcohol free alcohol markers <laughs> for him. We have never used any of these, so here these are. And s most of these gifts I'm showing you, I had I got on Prime Day, and so what they were, some of them were lightning deals, some of them were just discounted, and so that was really nice for me. So these, I got these markers, we'll zip them up in a minute because I'm gonna make a mess. And then the last thing is this kit right here. I don't know if I'm gonna open it because I don't really wanna like ruin the packaging, but it has some different 15 graphite pencils. He just barely mentioned the other day too that he's like, I'd really want some different pencils for Christmas because <laughs> I'm so limited on what I can do with a number two pencil. So I'm like, don't worry, I got you covered, dude. And so it comes with some charcoal. It says black and white. It has tons of different charcoal. This one didn't have colored pencils. We already have quite a few colored pencils and he has lots of different markers and pens. And then it has several different erasers. It has a sketchbook. It has a few pastels and sharpeners and then obviously the case that it goes in. So those are his like individual gifts. And then Oh, his book, I was like, where is his book? Isn't here yet because it's the new Aragon book. I don't even know how to say the title. I don't think it's a real word. <laughs> so it's pre-ordered right now. So it's, I think ships next week from when I'm filming this. So we we'll probably already have it by the time this video comes out, but right now I don't. So I have pre-ordered it. It is not here yet. So that is the book that he is getting. And then his pajamas, I got all the pajamas from Old Navy and his and me and my husband's are the same, but they're all the same pattern, but some of the styles are different because of the ages of my kids. These are just the pants. So my son's at this stage, he's very, very tall and skinny. And he's in this very awkward, like he's almost not a child anymore, but he's also not a teenager yet either. So it's kind of hard to buy him clothes that fit him. So I got these, they're probably gonna be really big on him, but he can wear them for a really long time, which I'm totally fine with. That's, I love getting pajamas that are really big so that they can wear them for a long time and they're more comfortable. And so then me and my husband also, they're the same. It's just the pants. I didn't get him a shirt because again, I didn't think the child sizes would fit him. And so I got him the pants and then he can just wear, you know, a white shirt or whatever with it. And then as far as church clothes go, I got a variety of Christmas colors for church clothes for my kids. I haven't done that before. In the past, I've either gotten ties that all match for my boys, and then my girls have dresses that match or I make the dresses. And this year I was like, how about we do some that, you know, they're all Christmas colors, but different, like a variety. So they're not exactly the same. So I think this is his tie. I can't remember if there's a difference between him and his neck, his brother, his eight year old brother's tie. And so anyways, this one's like the green plaid. So that's what he has. So those are his gifts for Christmas. Okay, the next child is a 10 and a half year old girl and she has gotten into sewing this year. Last year I got her sewing stuff for Christmas, but she requested more for this year. And then she also likes fancy writing. <laughs> and so it wasn't, she didn't specifically say that, but that kind of stuff or engineering and STEM stuff, which we've also done a lot of. I didn't get her any engineering stuff this time, but I did get her some sewing stuff. So first of all, I just got her this skirt. I am not sure if the waist is gonna be too big. It's so hard when I don't want her to try it on because <laughs> I don't want her to know what it is. So I'll have to decide if it's gonna be too big, if I should get the next size down or not. But I just thought it was cute. It's just an A-line skirt to kind of go along with the sewing. She's not making it, but she has some nicer, like a nicer white shirt. And she's like, I have to wear it with a skirt, but she doesn't have any. So I thought this would be cute for her. And then along with the sewing idea, I picked up these two fabric rolls from Joann's and they were on sale, so that was nice. And I figured she can kind of do what she wants with them. So I am going to make up either a paper or a coupon. I haven't quite decided what it's gonna look like yet to go in with these because I want it to 
say something where I'll finish paying for the cost. You know, it's like 30 to $40 is left basically of her budget. And so either for backing, like if she decides to make a quilt, like a bigger quilt out of these, or if she makes a handbag, like a bag out of it, or whatever she decides to do, I can go help her buy the batting and the backing. I didn't want to dictate exactly what the project had to be. So I picked out these and she can decide how she wants to make them. And these are longer strips. So she can decide too how, like if she wants to leave them in strips, if she wants to cut them into smaller squares, she can do that. So I wanted to let her be creative that way, but then also, like realize, oh, I'm gonna still help you finish the project, but I just don't know what your project's gonna be yet. So I got those for her. And then the fancy writing, <laughs> I found this calligraphy kit on Amazon. So here's the pens that come with it and the book. So modern letter lettering. <laughs> and so in here, you know, it's gonna show, obviously in the beginning, it's gonna go through it a little bit more, some of the different brush lines, different tools that you can use, you know, different ways to form the strokes. And then you're gonna get more into the fancy writing. She loves doing cursive and she's been writing like her name in cursive. And so I thought she'd really like this. And then obviously the pens to go along with it. So that's her gifts, her like individual gifts she's getting. And then the book she's getting is The Revenge of Magic. My husband picked out basically, I think all the books for our kids just because he just has a better handle on books than I do most of the time, <laughs> even though, you know, like I'm the homeschool mom, but he is a big homeschool dad in this family. Like he does a lot of work too for our family. So we got that one and that's the first, I believe in a series. So if she likes it, we can get more. And then her pajama set is of top and a bottom. So this is the top and they're going to look humongous. I think this is the biggest size. But it's also, these are those tighter pajamas. The, what are they even called? Tight fit or something? I don't know. And they usually shrink a lot, you know, and then the pants and the shirt, the shirts especially are like muscle shirts. <laughs> and so I got really big ones so that they can hopefully wear them for a while instead of having them shrink and then they can't, they wear them once and that's it. So they're a little bit bigger again, I love buying them bigs because then usually they can wear them the whole year and sometimes into the next year. And then they just pass them down to their younger siblings. And then her dress is red. So it looks like this and has, you know, the higher neck up here with the little like eyelet thing back here and a line, but then it has a tie as well. So you can bring it in at the waist, you know, not that a, ten and a half year old really has a, a defined waist. But anyway, so that's what I got for her. I thought that would look good. She has darker hair, so I feel like this type of color looks really good on her and makes her hair like pop better. So those are her gifts for Christmas. Okay, and the next child is a basically nine year old boy by Christmas. Okay, right after Christmas, he turns nine and all my boys, their birthdays are a week and a half, like within a week and a half after Christmas. So. Christmas shopping and birthday shopping is a little bit crazy this time of year because it's, just, it's so much, there's so much going on. But he specifically asked for this kit, this Bill Nye science kit, space lab kit, it's a VR kit, but there's also a lot of activities in it besides that because I didn't want something that was just oh, you have to have a phone or be on a one of our phones to be able to use it. And we recently got new phones. So they've been using our old ones to do like Duolingo and stuff like that. So he can use that to be able to use this. But there's also a lot of other activities. So there's 30 plus activities, 85 plus pieces. I can't, so here's kind of a picture right here. So he saw this on, what is it even called? Uh, I can't even think Lakeshore Learning. <laughs> That's what it's called because we get the books. And so the like little pamphlets they send in the mail and I was able to find it off of Amazon and I believe it was even discounted as well on Amazon. So that's where I found it. And so he only has two actual gifts. He doesn't have like extra pieces to go with any of the gifts just because his things were a little bit more expensive individually. 
but I did get some, he wanted Legos. So he wanted that set and he wanted Legos and he might get some Minecraft Legos for his birthday. I haven't decided what he's getting for his birthday yet, but I was like, okay, let's get something Legos that's also space because he has been obsessed with space lately. And when I asked him earlier, like at the beginning of the year, what he'd want a Christmas theme for, for all of his presents to be, he said outer space. <laughs> So, and then he picked stuff that was outer space. So I found this Lego set. I like searched on Amazon for things. And this one, it, I just thought it was cool. So, you know, you have your sun, you have your earth. It rotates around, like the reviews were pretty decent and it's Lego or blocks. You know, he has to put it together. It's not the Lego brand, but he has to put it together. Here's a little bit closer up in the back. And so I thought that he would think that was really cool and that those two presents went really well together. So that's his individual presents right there. And then also he got this book. This was one my husband recommended. And this is Alcatraz versus the Evil Librarians by Brandon Sanderson. My husband loves Brandon Sanderson. So that was the book he recommended for him. And then I have this tie for him. It's like, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know if it's going to focus. It's focusing on my hand, but it's like the red plaid right there. And again, I can't remember if one of these is more of a grown up tie and one's a kid's tie or if they're both kids ties. <laughs> so I need to check that out. So I know if this one is the one that will fit him the best. And then he has the same pajamas as my daughter. Just, I think I got them in the same size as well. So he could wear them for a while. So the top bottom, and that's what he is getting for his Christmas presents. Okay, the next child, <laughs> we're, we're moving down. I'm always like, how many kids do I have really at this point? <laughs> I can't keep track. When I had to buy the pajamas, I almost for forgot some kids because I was like, wait, this isn't enough pajamas. <laughs> Anyways, so the next child is a girl that is six and a half. She'll, she'll be seven in February. So she's getting close. But one of the things she wanted was a remote control car. <laughs> she's like, I want a remote control car. And I wasn't gonna get anything super super fancy, but I also wanted something that she had to like build and put together her brother her eight-year-old brother got a car he had to put together last year a little remote control car and so that kind of inspired her so this is one of them that I found that was different than what her brother had and she has to put it together you know it's not gonna be this huge this is not actual size and so hopefully it's good the reviews were pretty good on it and she's gonna need help i feel like she probably won't want help but she'll probably need it and so we'll put this together with her hopefully and i think it builds two things like this is a picture of something else that it builds so and then it's a remote control car so i got her that and then she had, I'm trying to remember if she initially requested something else because this was an afterthought, something as I was trying to think of presents for her, she told me, but I can't remember if there was something else. Oh, she wanted nail polish, but she already has some nail polish and I didn't want to just get her like, you know, especially nail polish is just like not even that expensive anyway. So we could just easily get her some if we wanted to, <laughs> but I was like, okay, well, let's think about this a little bit more. She said she wanted binoculars. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, we can do that. I'm like, let's work with this because obviously this isn't like filling her whole budget, not even close. And so what else could we do with this? And so I started thinking more like science-y and we can't, it gets pretty yuck in the winter here and very, very cold and it's very long. So I'm like, okay, she's not gonna really be able to use these much outside right away. What else could we do that's a little bit maybe science-y? And so I was thinking through that kind of stuff and I was like, how about a microscope? We don't have a microscope. And I thought this could be fun for her. So this one said it was a good like beginning microscope. It doesn't have you know, it's not super great, but it's not horrible either. Again, for like a six year old, it'll be fine. So I think there's some of the, I don't know technical terms for microscopes, the little plates that have, what are they even called? I don't know, specimen stages. I don't know. <laughs> the little plates you put the things on, there's some that are already made, you know, so you can look at them. And then there's some that you can create your own. So if they, find a leaf or something outside under the snow. 
<laughs> or if they found something inside, right? They could look at it. There might even be a Petri dish in here that they can fill. I can't, I don't remember all the things. Here's a picture on the back of a few of the things that are in there. So I got that for her. And then just to kind of go along with this, I got her some colored pencils because I thought it'd be fun. I have notebooks that I didn't bring it up, but they're just plain journaling notebooks. And so I thought I would include that as well because then she can document what she's looking at. So she could draw pictures, you know, once it warms up and she does see birds or animals, she could draw pictures of them and have it be a little bit of a nature journaling notebook. So I thought that would be fun as her second present, like all in one kind of idea. And so hopefully she likes that. She loves being outside. She's the first to just go outside and want to play with friends and just explore. And so it just kind of fits her pretty well. And then her book is wish so my husband was like that's the new disney movie because he's in the know and i am not <laughs> and so we got this this is just one of those easier readers she is in first grade but not reading yet and so we're still working on it <laughs> it's a little bit of a struggle but this one we figured either we could read it to her or her older sister could read it to her and then it will be easy enough once she gets a little bit better at reading that she can read it to herself as well and then for her pajamas, same as the other siblings, the older three, the older two that I've talked about, <laughs> however many there are. <laughs> and hers is just a size smaller. So that's her pajamas. And then her dress is green. And this dress just makes me think old fashioned. <laughs> But I just think it fits her so well, like the idea of it. I don't know if it fits her well, but <laughs> and the fabric even just makes me feel like something I would have worn as a child. And, you know, I'm old, so that's saying something. But I thought this was cute and hopefully she likes it as well. And so those are her presents for Christmas. OK, we're down to two kids and family gifts, and these two don't have very much because they're little and they really don't care. So my two year old boy is the next one I'm going to talk about. He's almost two again, right after Christmas, he'll be two. And he just doesn't sit still for anything like nothing. He is on the go constantly. He's a crazy, <laughs> drives us nuts. And so I was like, what are we going to get him? So I was like, maybe a basketball hoop. We had a basketball hoop when my oldest was little. And so we, I just got one of the little tykes ones. I'll like put a picture over here or something because I wasn't going to bring the box up. It's kind of huge. <laughs> and so I just got one of those. It was like $30. So again, neither of them, well, the baby is meeting her budget and some of his, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But he is not meeting his budget because of that. And then the other thing he's getting, so he'll get the basketball hoop and then he'll get this toy, which I, there was a company going out of business last year sometime and I bought a whole bunch of toys for him. He wasn't ready for them yet, but I thought that now he would be able to play with this. So he has another one that's similar with slightly bigger pieces and he keeps it in his room. And so he basically only plays with it either right after nap time if he stays in his room and plays for a few minutes or right before bedtime. And so the pieces don't get lost all throughout the house. They just stay in his room. So I thought this would be another good one to give him a little variety that could just stay in his room and then we know where the pieces are. So I didn't buy this this year. I bought it last year at a very discounted price. So those are the two things that he's getting. Again, he doesn't even care. Like he will just want to open presents and move on. And so he'll open help open his baby sister's presents because he just doesn't even care. And then he has these pajamas. So his shirt looks different and these are 4T. He's a very big kid. And so he's in two to three T stuff right now, depending on what it is. And so I figured that he could wear these for a while and they wouldn't be super tight on him. But the shirt looks like that. And then the pants are the same as his older siblings. And then I just got him a bow tie. So this one is also like that green buffalo plaid type color. And so he will have a bow tie instead of an actual tie for his 
church outfit. Okay, and the last child is a three month old baby and she will be, you know, almost five months, I guess by the time we're getting to Christmas, she'll be like four and a half months. And I'm like, I'm not gonna buy her any presents because she doesn't even care. Like she's not gonna use them. So I was being very, very practical. Like what are we going to need for her by that point? Clothes, we need clothes because there's a big gap between my last two and my oldest four. And so I don't have any girl clothes that were saved from that five years <laughs> that I was not planning to have more kids. And so I need clothes for her. So that's why she's using some of her budget and her brother's because I was just like, we're just gonna get you a bunch of clothes. So I got all of these ones at Old Navy. And so one of them, and they're all six to 12 months. Again, she is three months old, but she's in six month clothes already. So I was glad Old Navy had six to 12 months because I was worried six to nine still wouldn't be like she might be outgrowing it or only be able to wear it for a short time by Christmas. So this is a dress that I thought would be cute for her to wear and then, you know, put tights or some sort of bloomer thing under it. And then I got her some pants. And again, if she can't wear these for a while after Christmas, that's fine. At least I have clothes for her because that was my biggest concern. And I don't know how big she's going to keep growing, you know, like she could s slow down or she could just like be humongous. I don't know. So those are some cute little pants. This was just a fun little sweat outfit. So it has this and it has the pants that go with it. And it's like super poofy. <laughs> She's gonna look like a marshmallow. She already does. Her cheeks are humongous. And then these are the same pants as those, as these ones that are upside down, but they're just in green. And so I got those for her. And then this was a cute little outfit. So this is the onesie and then pants. The camera cut me off because I was filming too long. <laughs> so we're back. Here we are. And so I got these pants for her, these like little thermal ones that are just kind of neutral. And then this I thought was super cute. It's like a little sweater outfit and the little ruffly sleeves and then the pants that go with it. So that's what she's getting for Christmas. And I might wrap them all individually just so her brother can have something to do while everyone else is unwrapping their presents so he won't unwrap their presents. And maybe he can just help her unwrap all of hers. So <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. And then her pajamas are yeah, like a fleecy, this isn't called a onesie, but pajamas. <laughs> baby pajamas. This is what they're called. I don't know. Anyways, I'm hoping these fit her. And like, if she seems to be getting too big, I might just pull them out before Christmas and have her wear them because I'm worried that they won't fit. But I think I got some of the pajamas I got on super good deals. They were like the hot deals at Old Navy when I bought them. And so they were very, very cheap. So I... I'm not like put out about it. I just want her to be able to wear them. So we'll see because she's these are six to nine months and I believe she's still in her three to six month pajamas, but they're getting kind of small. So we're going to have to move transition into other pants. And then this is the little like church outfit I got for her. So again, just a little Christmas here. I thought the sleeves were <laughs> super cute. They're like super poofy. And so that's what I got for her. This is again, six to 12 months. So she'll probably be wearing it for a while. And then it had this like little headband if you want to wear the headband or you can think of your own if you don't like that kind of headband. But that's what she's going to be getting for Christmas. Okay. So the last things I wanted to mention are some family type gifts. A lot of them are just for my kids, but there is one that is a little bit more family type gift. But the first one, I won't wrap this, I'll just wait until the beginning of December to give it to them, is this advent calendar. It's just for Pokemon trading cards. They love Pokemon, so I was like, perfect. So I got that for them. I, this might be all sold out because I got it quite a while ago. So I can't guarantee that it's still available. And then something else that I got, I was trying to like, okay, I have older kids, I have younger kids, how are we gonna do this? So a few things cater a little bit more to my older kids, some to my younger, and then hopefully we hit the middle ones too. But I got a Kindle for them, again on sale with the Prime Day. And this is one of the kids' Kindles. And they love to read. All my kids love to read. And so I thought we'd try this out and it came with a year subscription to the Amazon Kids or I think that's what it's called, like the Kindle Unlimited, but for kids. And so we're gonna try it out and just see how we like it. Especially my daughter, 
she loves to read like we cannot keep books in this house and not like fast enough they go to the library and they come back with piles of books and they're through them within a few days and so hopefully this will help a little bit as long as there's not fighting that's gonna be the biggest thing they're gonna have to share it so I got that and then two of the other gifts I'm not gonna show you here I'll like throw a picture up here or something but one of them is one of those hoverboard things <laughs> that you stand on and it like twirls or you ride it you know you have to learn how to balance on it and buying outdoor gifts is really hard where we live because my kids can't use them right away <clears throat> most of the time because it's so cold and we're just like so like so much snow and so they just can't use them but I saw them enjoying the one the neighbor had and they wanted to get one and so I was like oh that could be like it kind of gave me some ideas for Christmas gifts when they said that and so I got one for them because they can practice a little bit in the garage or just in the house. You know, I've, I'm not crazy about having that kind of stuff in the house very often, but at least they can practice a little bit in the house and there's room in the garage for them to at least get the hang of it. So then maybe by the time it warms up, they don't fall constantly and smash their faces. So we'll see. <laughs> but that's one of the things that I got for them. And then the other one, Again, these are, a few of these are bigger like ticket items and I haven't ever done this before, but I thought we'd try something different and go for things that like my kids really wanted or that were a little bit more practical for our needs. And so one of them is the play gym. Again, I'll put a like picture over here and it's a wooden kind of Montessori type play gym. It's for younger kids. So this caters more to my two littles, obviously not the three month old, but also the three month old, <laughs> like when she gets a little bit bigger, she will be using it. But my six year old is still light enough that she could even play with it. But it has like the bridge, it has a ladder you can attach to it and you can build some different configurations. And I thought when our two year old's driving us crazy all winter long, we can have this down in the basement and he can play on it. <laughs> so that's what I'm hoping. And again, it was discounted a lot on Prime Day and I think it's sold out. I think it's back in stock now, but it was sold out like at the day after. So that is something I got that caters a little bit more to my younger kids. And then this was the last like spur of the moment, I guess type thing. My kids love waffles and we have a Belgium waffle maker but they're huge waffles, right? And I wanted something, I'm like, maybe we could make them like Jordan Page here on YouTube and freeze a bunch, but I don't have a good waffle maker for that. So I bought one. <laughs> and this one is like a aqua color because it's cheaper, because <laughs> that's how I work. <laughs> I'm like, which color is the cheapest? As long as it's not a super crazy color, I'm gonna buy that one. And so I figured they could make a bunch. This would just be a little easier than the humongous waffles that we have, like with our big waffle maker. And they could make a bunch, we could easily freeze them. And then these ones, also you can like put them in the toaster and stuff, you know, to warm them up. Whereas the other ones are way too thick. And so I thought this would be a good change. We haven't, I don't know if we've had a waffle maker like this, maybe when we were first married, but we've used the other, the Belgium one for a long time. And so we haven't had one that makes them like a small, like compact waffles. <laughs> and so I thought we would try this out. All right, I hope you enjoyed this Christmas video. I can't believe we're like getting ready for Christmas. It's very exciting and very crazy at the same time. I will link everything that I can down below in the description box so that you can check it out if you're interested and comment down below and let me know what you're favorite Christmas gifts are. Maybe something new you're trying this year or something you got last year. I'd love to hear all of your different ideas, all your different thoughts, and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time.